All right, guys, so it's time for a drunk or a kid. I'm glad this game is back. Uh, Eric's friend sent me some really funny and kind of gross ones. Yeah, my buddy uh, in Florida, he does a show in Florida, so you yes. got to assume people in Florida. You get some crazy people you know, there. Are very, really entertaining. Yeah, so, there's yeah. a reason why Grand Theft Auto is there this I time. Told him, oh, I know. I introduced him to Ahmad. I said, you guys talk, and if you get good stuff from your listeners, send them to him. Mm -hmm. I don't want to hear them so I can play along try and guess as well so you yes. do not know the answers i have no idea this is gonna be fun all right mm -hmm. and Let's we have caleb and Lindsay on the line we're all gonna right. start off with caleb hey we're, we're gonna do three rounds caleb hey, welcome caleb. to the rolling ryan show hey how are y'all doing this morning we're doing oh, great so you're gonna have to figure out whether or not this person did this when they were drunk or when they They'll were make a, a statement of what they did and then we'll pause it and you tell us and then we'll play okay. what, what the answer is we're gonna do three uh three rounds first person to two points Wins the game. And now if you guys tie, we have a tiebreaker. Yes. Okay. Are you ready, Caleb? All right. Here's yeah, your first clue. Here you go. I ate a huge bowl of red jello with my hands. Then I turned around and projectile vomited it right back into my mother's face. Now, oh, that gosh. could either be a kid or a drunk adult, Caleb. What do you think? That way, they ain't pulling down uh, over there. Then we got the over there. <laughs> oh, wow. Caleb, 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 okay. are, are you with us, buddy? Hello. Yeah, I'm here. Can y'all hear me? Yeah, yeah, now we yeah. Can. Did you hear the clue? Yes, I did. All okay. Right. Do you think they were a drunk adult or a little kid? A uh, drunk adult. Okay. Let's see. I was a drunk adult. Oh. oh. Yeah, I was drinking at home with my uncle All when right. he told me he'd give me ten bucks if I could eat this huge bowl of Jello in under a minute. My mom told me not to do it, but I did it anyway. I then turned to my mom and projectile vomited it all right back in her face. Oh I felt God. so bad the next day, I gave the 10 bucks to my mom. Oh, my gosh. You a oh. grown woman throwing up in your mama face. Is 10 bucks <laughs> worth <laughs> thrown up over? No. No, no, no I don't think so. Not. No, but you got a point, though. All right. Caleb. You're on the board, Caleb. Lindsay, got some pressure now. You got to get this. Hi, Lindsay. Right. Lindsay, welcome Hi. to the Hi. Rolling Ryan Show. All right, so we're going to play a little audio. You got to figure out whether or not this person was a little kid. Or if they were a drunk adult. You ready, Lindsay? Yes, I'm ready. All right, here we go. I had a three-minute conversation with a mannequin thinking it was a real person. Oh. Now, that's mm. really up in the air because I could see a kid doing that mm -hmm. or a drunk adult. Mm -hmm. yeah. Lindsay, what do you think? A drunk adult. Really? Okay, let's see. I was a very drunk adult no. during my spring break in Key West, and it was also my 21st birthday. Um, we had all been on Duval all day, and then when we got back to our hotel, I really wanted to have some champagne brought to our room just to celebrate. So I put in my order and I asked how many bottles we could get and the price and all that. I then had a conversation about what brand to get. It was then that my friend came up to me and she was like, who are you talking to? And that was when I realized that I gave my champagne order to a mannequin in a tacky Hawaiian shirt. Nice. <laughs> oh my gosh. Some weirdo. I mean, I've been drunk this. in my life, but not to the point where I'm talking to a mannequin. Well, have you ever been to Duval Street in Key West? No. no. It is festive. Mm -hmm. Oh. It easily turned it's up. Real it's fun. It's like Florida, New Orleans. Yes. Oh. Really? But oh. a lot cleaner. And right. uh, yes. That sounds like right? something you know, I need to get do. Get dirtier yeah. in a way. A certain thing. Yeah. Get dirtier. <laughs> Clean the dirty. It's a lot. All Caleb right, we got could, a tie. Round Caleb two. Here could we go. win this. It's first person to two, right? Well, I mean, well, you got to give him another chance. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. All right, Caleb, you ready? Yeah, I'm You're ready. not taking a fast food order again, are you? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I'm just at work. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. okay, here we go. All right. All right, here we go, Caleb. I shot my older brother in the butt while hunting. He shot his, shot older, his older brother, brother in the butt while hunting. What do you think he was? Uh, I'm going to say a kid. I'm hoping because you're yeah. hunting. Yeah, right you shouldn't be, be drinking. drinking. You should not be right. drinking and Let's carrying a firearm. See. I was a little kid. My parents got us our first BB gun, so we went hunting pigeons. When we got one, I went to go pick it up, couldn't get it. My older brother said that I was useless and what was the point of everything. So I was a little angry and I shot him in the butt with a BB gun. Oh, oh, oh so no. this wasn't yeah, an accident. Legit. He intentionally shot his brother in the butt yeah, with I a thought, BB gun. At least it was a BB gun. Right. Yeah. Not legit. Still, those oh, things hurt. Man. Yeah. Lodged, yeah. You get lodged in there. Got two points. All right. So Lindsay. we're giving Lindsay a chance to catch up? Yeah. Yes. Lindsay, yep. you okay. have to get this or the game is over. No pressure. Go. No pressure, Lindsay. Here we go. Here's All right, your clue. Lindsay. Here we go. I pooped in a long line at Disney. 
She oh, pooped in a long evil. line at at Disney. We've all been there. Ew. Uh, <laughs> I think no, I, for the record, I've never done yeah, that. Yeah, no. <laughs> no. I was hoping somebody would agree. Lindsay, what do you think, drunk or a kid? Uh, I'm gonna say drunk adult. All right, oh, let's see. I agree. I was only seven years old, no. and oh. Expedition oh. Everest had just opened at Animal Kingdom. And I had to poop really bad, but my mom wouldn't get out of line to take me since we'd already been in line for a really long time. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> she just had me poop <gasps> on the ground. Oh, <laughs> she oh, did oh, clean it gosh. up with my brother's shirt and then threw it away. Oh. We still have the photo of my shirtless brother on the ride and laugh about it. And I heard your conversation the other day about people pooping in line at Disney, and I just I oh. had to send this in. Oh my god. Crazy. You we're not getting out of this line. We've been in for two hours. You poop on the ground. That would suck. That is Timmy, disturbing. give me your t shirt. I mean Caleb, you got it. Caleb, Caleb, Caleb. congratulations. Let's go. All right, All right Dan, buddy. Shit, man. You're gonna go see Dan and Shay, Cynthia Woods Mitchell Pavilion, prevent, uh, presented by Huntsman. That's gonna be August thirty first. Mm-hmm. Uh, hold on. We gotta play another one. Sounds one. good. Hold yeah. on, buddy. Thanks, Caleb. We'll yeah, we can play Alrighty. along. We're gonna play along oh. real quick. Okay, Caleb, you sound like a Dan and Shay fan. Here we go. What does, <laughs> what does that, that mean? mean? What does that mean? You're profiling? Uh, I am, and I'm, I'm allowed to. Profile? It's what? still Black History Month, so I could do whatever I want. Oh, yeah. no. Anyways. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay. All right. So here's this next one. I was being carried home, and I woke up in a pond. Oh, that's got to be drunk. Woke up in a pond. That's got to be drunk. I would You hope. think drunk? Yeah, I'm yeah, saying drunk. And a, a child? You're not going to leave a kid pond. in the pond. Yeah, drowning possibly. I don't know. Let's see. When I was a little kid, I fell asleep in the car on the way home, and it was during a snowstorm. Um, my dad got me out of the car and was carrying me up the icy driveway, and he slipped and fell. Now, I landed on top of him, and <laughs> I rode him like a sled all the way down the driveway. We hit a bump just past the driveway and I rolled and rolled and rolled until I hit the koi pond next to our driveway. I mean, my dad fished me out pretty quick and he ran me into the house, but it was such a blur that the next morning I just thought it was all a dream until they told me it was true. You ever do that? Koi pond? You fall asleep though, you forget what you, it's like amnesia. You forget stuff like that. I did that last night, even if you're not drunk, you're just... Yeah, if you mm. do things. Oh, you. That's yeah, koi ponds are weird. Yeah, koi it's ponds just like a little never little, got them. Little and fish thing. They could mm-hmm. freeze, and the koi still stay alive. The koi fish. Yeah, that's really? so weird. Like, do they freeze? Like, are they stuck in like, one place? Like, they look like they're stuck in the pond. But it's they're still weird. alive. They're they hibernate. Creepy. They're hibernating. Yeah, that's hibernate. creepy. Well, wait. I mean, I so you're talking like a, a, the whole pond freezes like a block of ice uh-huh. and, and they're the still alive don't you remember underneath. when we had that freeze and there was alligators their little snouts kind of stick up in the frozen water because they still are breathing they're just in hibernation but they're like cold-blooded I mean, yeah but aren't are they cold-blooded are... well if they're in the water yeah see, yeah, I did, yeah i did see that two weeks yeah. ago they put the nostril oh, out the through nostrils the... that go up. too much science i never had a koi pond before i thought it was no me neither you you never had a koi pond <laughs> richie <Shots>. mcrich <laughs> <laughs> 